tutorial we will learn how to convert a DXF file into the 3D so for this tutorial I will take this example this is a slide disk which is, is a DXF file and uh, we will convert this DXF file into the 3D and we will do with using the free CAD and this disk having the 3 mm thickness so to convert in the DXF first I will clear all this dimension and I will only keep the sketch means profile of this body which I have uh, already did here and uh, I have uh, converted it into the DXF and now we will import this DXF file in a free CAD and we will learn how we can convert the DXF file into the 3D and in this tutorial we will not going to edit any dimension of this DXF when we will import and we will exactly make this without adding any dimension or changing any dimensions so I have already converted in DXF so we will move to our free CAD and here I will create a new part and here you have to switch to draft workbench and once you switch on the draft workbench click on this top view and move to the file sections and click on import and now I will import the clean DXF file which I have did so I will move to the desktop and here is the file name DXF to free CAD and I will open it so when I open my DXF in a draft workbench I see here the number of shapes here this is the converted in shape and this is this line converted into shape 2 shape 3 shape 4 shape 5 like this so we wanted it in a single entity or in a single block okay so what we will do we will press the shift key click one first one and then press the shift key and select click on the last one so all will be get selected and now you move to this tool which is name is upgrade in a draft workbench so click on it so it converted it into the wires so here is the wire one means this coming under the single as entity and this hole is a second this hole is a third and fourth so but still we are not happy with this so we will project into the sketch okay we will convert all this as a sketch so first we will create our wire which is the our outer profile and we will click here to draft to sketch so when we click on this tool it will convert this wire into the sketch same way we will do for this wire 1 wire two wire three and wire four so now these wires are uh, converted into the sketch now we have the sketch now we can convert this sketch into the part with two methods we have either we can use with part design workbench or we can use part workbench so but as a part design workbench having the more features so we will do it with the part design so I will select here part design and switch to the part design workbench so if I see my in a tree I do not have any body so here I will create a body so body is get created now this sketch is out of the body so what I will do first I will hide this wires because I do not require it because we have already converted into, into the sketch now we see that our body is completely empty and this is sketch are outside of the body so we will click on the sketch and drop on the body so this sketch is now the part of the body so this is sketch is a children and body is a parent so now we will click on this sketch and we will give to the pad and pad we will give 
dimension 3 mm its thickness is 3 mm and we will click on symmetric to the plane and say ok now the hole we will click and drop on the body so this is the sketch one and we will use the cut and we will say dimension 3 mm symmetric to the plane so hole is adapted here say ok same sketch 2 I will click and drop on the body I will say cut and 3 mm say symmetric to the plane ok same sketch 3 symmetric to the plane ok and same for the sketch 4 3 symmetric to the plane ok so <coughs> this is the 3 mm thickness and we have exactly made as per our the DXF file here and if we see our original drafted AutoCAD file so we have uh, successfully converted the DXF file into the a 3D object using the FreeCAD draft workbench tool so this is all about this tutorial and if you like this tutorial and if you like my method of teaching you can support me I have a coffee donation page link is given in the description of this video your kind support will help this channels to grow and at the same time never forget to like subscribe and share my video so thank you for watching I will come with more useful tutorial on a free CAD thank you so much for